Hello my dear students. This is video number 9 of expansion chapter from ICC 9th Maths. We were doing the sums from Madhya Sagarwal. In the previous videos we have already completed exercise 3A and started with 3B. Today I am going to continue with exercise 3B from question number 2. My name is Arpita Banerjee and you are watching Arpita classes. Let's get started. Question number 2 says if 4A plus 3B is equal to 10 and AB is equal to 2, we have to find out the value of 64A cube plus 27B cube. I hope you remember that these sums are based on A plus B whole cube and A minus B whole cube. So let me write down the formula over here. A plus B whole cube, this has got two forms. One is A cube plus B cube plus 3A square B plus 3AB square. This is one of the form. Now if we take 3AB common from these two terms, we get a cube plus b cube plus 3ab whole into a plus b. This is the second form of a plus b whole cube. Similarly, we have a minus b whole cube and that is a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Now, if I write down the other formula, if I take 3ab common from here, it will be a cube minus b cube minus 3ab whole into a minus b. So, these are the two forms of a plus b whole cube and a minus b whole cube. Now, here we have to start what is given from here. 4a plus 3b is equal to 10. This is given. Now, since we have to find out the cube, we will cube both sides of this expression. So, we will write down cubing both sides. We will write down cubing both sides. So, what we get it? Get is 4a plus 3b whole cube is equal to 10 the whole cube. Now, let us put the formula a plus b whole cube. I am going to use this formula, the second form of a plus b whole cube. So, this will be 4a whole cube, a cube plus b cube that is my 3b whole cube plus 3ab that is 3 into 4a into 3b whole into a plus b that is 4a plus 3b and that is, is equal to 1000. 10 cube is 1000. Now 4a whole cube is 64a cube plus 3b whole cube that is 27b cube plus here I am getting 3 into 3 9 into 4 36ab. Now 36ab whole into 4a plus 3b and that is is equal to 1000. In the next step what I am going to do is ab, the value of ab is given 2 and the value of 4a plus 3b is given 10. So I am going to put these two values. So 64a cube plus 27b cube plus 36 into ab is 2 so I am going to put 2 and 4a plus 3b is 10, so I am going to put 10. 36 into 2 into 10 and that is, is equal to 1000. So, now here 36 into 2 into 10. 36 into 2 is 72, 72 into 10 is 720. So, 64a cube plus 27b cube plus 720 is equal to 1000. Now, in the next step, if I get 720 this side, 1000 minus 720 will give me the value of 64a cube plus 27b cube. I'm doing it here. So next step is 64a cube plus 27b cube is equal to 1000 is already here. So I'm writing 1000 and I'm getting 720 from left hand side to right hand side. So it will be minus 720. So finally I get 64a cube plus 27b cube is equal to 280. So, this is the answer for 64a cube plus 27b cube. So, now in question number 4, we have 3x minus 2y is 5 and xy is equal to 6. We need to find out the value of 27x cube minus 8y cube. So, here since we have to find out a cube minus b cube, I am going to use the formula for a minus b whole cube and a minus b whole cube is equal to, I am going to use this for, uh, form a cube minus b cube minus 3ab 
4 into a minus b. This form we have to use here, okay? So let us start from here. 3x minus 2y is given 5. So we'll write cubing both sides. We'll get 3x minus 2y whole cube is equal to 5 the whole cube. Now let us expand this a minus b whole cube. So that's a cube minus b cube minus 3 into a into b whole into a minus b and that is, is equal to 5 cube that is 125. 125. Now 3x whole cube is 9x cube minus 2y whole cube is sorry 3x whole cube is uh, 20 7x cube sorry so this will be 27x cube minus 2y whole cube is 8y cube minus 3 to 6 6 into 3 18 so this is 18 into xy into 3x minus 2y and that is, is equal to 125. Now we'll put the value, the value of xy and the value of 3x minus 2y. So this is 27x cube minus 8y cube minus 18 into xy is 6. So we'll put 6 over here and 3x minus 2y is 5. So that is, is equal to 125. So 27x cube minus 8y cube minus. Now 5 into 6 is 30, 30 into 18, 18 into 3 is 54, 540 is equal to 125. Now in the next step, in the next step, I'll just get 540 this side. So I'll get the answer. I'm doing it here. So this is 27x cube minus 8y cube. Getting 540 in the other side, so it will be 125 plus 540. So 27x cube minus 8y cube is equal to this will be 5, 6, 665. Yeah, 665 is the answer for 27x cube minus 8y cube. So in question number 4, a plus 3b is 6. We have to show that a cube plus 27b cube plus 54ab is equal to 216. So let us start from here. a plus 3b is equal to 6. I hope you understood that we have to cube both the sides. So it will be a plus 3b whole cube is equal to 6 the whole cube. You can pause the video. You can start doing the sums on your own and then you can check it. Okay from here. So this, this is a cube plus b cube plus 3 into a into b whole into a plus b and that is, is equal to 6 cube. 6 cube is 216. So this is a cube plus 3b cube is 27b cube plus 3 into 3 is 9ab whole into a plus 3b and that is, is equal to 216. Next step, a cube plus 27b cube plus 9. In place of ab, okay, I don't have ab. I put ab only. But in place of a plus 3b, I'm going to put 6. So here into 6 is equal to 216. Now in the next step, it will be a cube plus 27b cube plus 6 into 9 is 54ab. And that is, is equal to 216. So that is what we had to prove. So here you can write down hence proof. Question number 5 is a little different. We have a different formula for question number 5. So we will do it later on. I am doing question number 6 as of now. Question number 6 is x plus 1 upon x is 3. And we have to find out x cube plus 1 upon x cube. Again you can see here a plus b is given. And we have to find out a cube plus b cube. So we'll start from what is given, that is x plus 1 upon x is equal to 3 and we'll cube both the sides. So we'll write x plus 1 upon x whole cube is equal to 3, the whole cube. Now put the formula, expand this. This is a cube 
plus b cube plus 3 into a into b whole into a plus b and that is, is equal to 27. So this is x cube plus 1 upon x cube. x and x will get cancelled. So plus 3 into x plus 1 upon x is 3. So we can put 3 here, 3 into 3 and that is, is equal to 27. Now in the next step, it will be x cube plus 1 upon x cube plus 3 into 3 is 9 is equal to 27. Now in the next step, I'll get 9 this side and I'll get the answer that is x cube plus 1 upon x cube is equal to 27 minus 9 and 27 minus 9 is 18. So x cube plus 1 upon x cube is equal to 18. So now in question number 7, x minus 1 upon x is given 5 and we need to find out a cube minus 1 upon uh, a cube minus b cube, uh, x cube minus 1 upon x cube. So basically here a minus b is given and we have to find out a cube minus b cube, right? So we'll start from here, x minus 1 upon x is 5. We'll cube both the sides. So it will be x minus 1 upon x whole cube is equal to 5 the whole cube. Now we will expand. So it will be a cube minus b cube minus 3 into a into b whole into a minus b is equal to 5 cube is 125. So now here a cube minus b cube minus x and x will get cancelled 3 into x minus 1 upon x is given 5 that is, is equal to 125. So next step will be a cube minus b cube minus 15 is equal to 125. Now in the next step I will get 15 the other side and we will get the answer. So it will be x cube minus 1 upon x cube is equal to 125 plus 15. So x cube minus 1 upon x cube is equal to 125 plus 15 is 140. So the answer for this is 140. So in question number 8, if x minus 2 by x is fixed, we have to find out the value of x cube minus 8 by x cube. Again here a minus b is given, we need to find out a cube minus b cube. So a minus b is equal to 6, cubing both sides, a minus b whole cube is equal to 6 the whole cube, expand it, a cube minus b cube minus 3 into a into b whole into a minus b that is equal to 216. 6 cube is 216. Here x and x will get cancelled. This is a cube minus 2 cube is 8 upon this is x cube minus 3 into 2 into x minus 2 upon x is 6 is equal to 216. So it's x cube minus 8 upon x cube minus 3 to 3 into 2 is 6 into 6 is 36 is equal to 216. So in the next step I get 36 the other side. So x cube minus 8 upon x cube is equal to 216 plus 36. So we will add it now. So x cube minus 8 upon x cube is equal to 216 plus 36. 252. So this is the answer for the x cube minus 8 upon x cube. So in today's video we have completed till question number 8 of exercise 3b. In the next video we will continue with exercise 3b only and will complete from question number 9 to 15. Thank you so much. Subscribe the channel and press the like button if you are liking what we are doing. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.